imagine how you'd feel if you've never slept. In case you don't know, the vital cells that keep us alive cannot rest and they must function all the time. The reason you're alive and watching this program today is only because your cells are able to produce sustainable energy. Even while you're asleep, your cells remain hard at work. In fact, 95% of cellular energy is generated by mitochondria inside our cells. The image appearing on the screen shows how mitochondria appear inside your cells. Now look at how active a young child is. One reason why they exude boundless energy is that they have virtually 100% of functional mitochondria. As we age, we lose functional mitochondria that our cells need in order to produce energy. A 90-year-old has 95% damaged mitochondria in their muscle compared to virtually no damage in a 5-year-old. I'm sure you can all see why we become easily fatigued as we grow older. To restore our energy levels, we must generate healthy new mitochondria. The Life Extension Foundation has pioneered outstanding methods to enhance mitochondrial energy output, and Bill Falloon is here to tell us all about it. Good to have you with us, Bill. What happens to our mitochondria as we age? Aging results in the loss of mitochondrial structure within our cells. And then our remaining mitochondria loses their functionality. So we have a dual problem where we're losing the existing mitochondria that we should have if we were a youthful person, and the remaining mitochondria isn't producing enough energy. What causes this? A lot of nasty events occur throughout our lifetime that create a deficiency of mitochondria in our cells. We know, for example, that free radicals are involved in mitochondrial destructions, but taking antioxidants only delays the loss of healthy mitochondria. It does not completely halt it. Is this why people complain about being tired all the time? Loss of mitochondria is a major factor in fatigue, and all you have to do is look at a, an elderly person to see that they have nowhere near the energy drive they enjoyed when they were younger. In fact, just look at how energetic a young child is compared to even young adults. A child has lots more functional mitochondria than adults do. So what is causing this? As we grow older, we lose functional mitochondria, and the noticeable effect is early fatigue. This mitochondrial deficit can manifest as virtually any degenerative disease, including type 2 diabetes, senility, and congestive heart failure. What have scientists discovered about the loss of mitochondrial function with aging? One study showed that people over age 70 had 50% more mitochondrial damage to their brain cells than did middle-aged individuals. This provides an easy-to-understand example as to why people such, suffer such severe memory impairment as they grow older. So what should people be doing to protect the mitochondria inside their cells? There are nutrients like acetyl-L-carnitine, lipoic acid, and coenzyme Q10 that are available without the need for a prescription. These nutrients inhibit free radical damage inside our cells and provide mitochondria with fuel to continually produce energy. Bill, is it possible to restore mitochondria that have already been destroyed by the effects of aging? The good news is that not only can we restore mitochondrial functionality, but it is now possible to also promote the formation of new mitochondria within our aging cells. The formation of new mitochondria is called mitochondrial biogenesis. And for the first time, there is a non-prescription way that aging people can take to reverse a mitochondrial deficit. That sounds amazing and very encouraging. What studies show this to be effective? Laboratory studies conducted by a team of researchers at the University of California, Davis, showed that depletion of just one nutrient called pyroloquinoline quinone results in fewer mitochondria. And this is accompanied by impaired immune function. When pyroloquinoline quinone, or PQQ for short, was added back into the diet, mitochondrial numbers in cells increased, as did cellular energy output. Are there studies that support this? Studies that show PQQ improves heart function? Yes, there are. Researchers at the VA Medical Center at University of California at San Francisco showed that PQQ reduced damage to the heart muscle of patients after heart attacks and increased cardiac mitochondrial energy output. What about the brain? 
PQQ has been shown to promote formation of new mitochondria in the brain, which has enormous potential to forestall senile dementia, one of our most feared diseases. When combined with CoQ10, research shows that PQQ can significantly enhance memory, attention, and cognition in aging humans. How does PQQ stimulate formation of new mitochondria? PQQ induces the expression of genes within our cells that naturally promote formation of new mitochondria. PQQ, by the way, is present in small amounts in our diet, but when higher amounts of PQQ are given, cells produce more mitochondria. This represents a potential breakthrough in reversing the physical and mental fatigue so many people suffer as they grow older. This is fascinating. What should my viewers do to learn more about generating new functional mitochondria within their cells? The Life Extension Foundation has compiled a report on the factors involved in mitochondrial energy depletion and how these can be delayed or reversed. We are sending this out to all Suzanne Select Health Club members today free of charge. That's great, Bill. Thank you so much. And today, Life Extension will send you this free mitochondrial support program along with a free six-month subscription of Life Extension magazine. For more information, call the number on your screen or go to lifeextension.com.